Hello friends, this is Suvarna and welcome to my channel Let's Miracle. Today we will see direct speech and indirect speech. So what are the direct speech and indirect speech? Generally, the words of the speaker are told as it is in the sentence is called direct speech. And indirect speech are the words, the speaker's word are told in our own words is called indirect speech. So direct speech kya hota hai ki jo bhi person hai, vakti hai, usne jaysay bhi bola hai, as it is when you say batana, you say get a direct speech. Or indirect speech kya hota hai ki, jo bhi vakti ne kaha hai, usme kuch badlao karke, wo apne shabdo me batana, you say get a indirect speech. So, speech ke do types ho te hai, direct or indirect. So, pratiksha katan or a pratiksha katan. You say get a hai. और प्रत्यक्ष कथन मतलब as it is person ने जैसे कहा है वैसे बोला जाता है that is called direct speech and indirect मतलब प्रत्यक्ष कथन मतलब जो कि व्यक्ति ने कहा है उसमें कुछ बदलाव लाकर बताया जाता है उसे कहते हैं indirect speech so generally we see there are subjects so subjects are I, V, U, He, She, It, They so those are the He, She, It the subjects are there those are the cases are there so positive cases there Nominative case is there and acquisitive case is there. So how does it get changes when we are doing the direct speech into indirect speech? Let's see. So nominative cases are there. I, V, U, He, She, It and They. So these are the nominative cases. So what are the possessive cases? So possessive cases are the cases those we see. My, we, us, you, your, then he, him, she, her, it, its and they. Then. then there are the accusative cases, those are I, me, then we, ours, you, yours, your, then him, his, her, she, her, it, its, and they, then. So this way we change the subject according to the sentences and we do the direct and indirect speech. So let's see there are the some changes in the tenses also. So how does the changes occur when we are doing direct speech into indirect speech. So let's see here. Generally we say that tense is changed. So suppose there is a simple present tense that change into simple past tense. So Let's see on the board. So, simple present tense change into simple past. Then there is a present continuous tense. That change into past continuous tense. Then there is a present perfect tense. That changes into past perfect tense. Then next we see present continuous present perfect continuous. That changes into past perfect continuous tense. Then we see simple past is there, 
सिंपल पास्ट टेंस चेंजेस इन टू परफेक्ट पास्ट टेंस परफेक्ट पास्ट टेंस देन पास्ट परफेक्ट टेंस चेंजेस इन टू पास्ट परफेक्ट टेंस पास्ट परफेक्ट टेंस so when we are changing the tense or doing the direct or indirect speech that time changes is there in the tenses so simple present tense will change into simple past then present continuous will be changed into past continuous then perfect present perfect will be changed into past perfect tense then present perfect continuous tense will change into perfect past perfect continuous tense then simple past will change into perfect past perfect tense and then past perfect change will be changing into past perfect tense so i hope that you understood how does the changes are occur in the different tenses while doing direct speech into indirect speech now let's see what are the changes occurs in the helping verbs when we are doing direct speech into indirect speech here how does changes occur when we are doing the direct speech into indirect speech suppose there is a am am or is the thing changes into was were ch are changes into were are changes into were then have has changes into had had changes into had only then do changes into did did changes into done then can changes into could shall changes into should then will changes into would then may changes into might these are the changes occur when you are doing the direct and indirect speech so this way the verbs will be getting changes so am is are change into was were have has changed into had had changes into had do into did did into done can could shall should may might will would so this way the changes will occur when we are doing the direct speech from indirect speech so i hope that you may understood it and maybe you like this so we see that there are the some words which shows the time and place so how does the those words are getting changes from indirect speech from direct speech into indirect speech so let's see so like a yesterday or previous that changes into previous day so today that day tomorrow next day so here there hence thence this way these words are getting changes so let's see which are the words and how does it get it changed into indirect speech let's see so today that day yesterday previous day tonight 
that night. Then I go before. Then just or now changes into then then here there hence things so these are the some words get changes when you are doing direct speech into indirect speech so today that day yesterday previous day tonight that night ago before just or now will change into then here there hence and things so this will be changes the words so telling the habitual truth or the universal truth or the daily routine that time we do not do any changes as it is we tell the sentences just using the that conjunction so let's see one sentence that is teacher said sun rises at east so this is the universal truth so anywhere you goes there you can find that sun rises only at the east so always keep in mind when you are doing direct speech into indirect speech when there is a habitual truth or the universal truth or the daily habit routine is there there we won't do any changes in the sentence or in the reported verb reporting verb or in the reported speech so let's see some examples teacher said sun rises sun rises at east so this will change into teacher said and this inverted commas will be getting removed and as it is the sentence will be there the sentence will be teacher said that sun rises at east so the scientific truth is there or ram said water boils at 100 degree celsius so this is the scientific truth it won't get changed so that time we cannot do any changes in the sentence so just the that conjunction we are using and as it is the sentence will be there so the answer will be that ram said that water boils at 100 degree celsius so i hope that you understood and maybe you like this if you like the video please do like share and subscribe thank you and have a great day